Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. For today, I wanted to talk about one dinosaur specifically. There's one Tyrannosaur from Michael Crichton's book that I don't really see get talked about at all by the general public. And that animal happens to be the younger Rex that lived in the same paddock as the full-grown adult. Now, I'm going to assume that the reason that this dinosaur isn't really talked about much is because it only showed up in the novel and doesn't really have any representation in the film series. But that doesn't make it any less important in my opinion. Breaking out during Nedry's sabotage during the same events that took down Jurassic Park, this is everything we currently know about the young T-Rex. <laughs> The origins of this individual tyrannosaur are similar to that of all of its siblings. In Michael Crichton's second novel, it's revealed that most of Ingen's cloned animals were bred on Isla Sorna before being transported over to Isla Nublar for exhibition in the theme park. Now, what many people don't actually know is that the young T-Rex is still canon to the film series. We just never got to physically see her appear on screen. If you go to the official Jurassic World website, you can see that at one point in time, the Rex paddock that was being used in the original park was actually made to accommodate two individuals, a juvenile and an adult. However, Nedry's meddling with the park security systems destroyed any sort of plans to have her moved onto the island in the future. Now, this of course means that the young Tyrannosaur could actually be one of the Rexes that we see on screen in The Lost World. However, since we've never been given any specific answers as to which animal it is just yet, we can't really speculate on that too much. All we know for certain is that it's not exactly the case in the second book, but that it did indeed live on that island during the second movie's events. Now, in the first novel, the juvenile Rex is described as being the same color as the adult which is kind of an ugly red-brown. She was around 8 feet tall and walked with a very clumsy gait that was described as being similar to that of a puppy. Its most iconic scene in the novel happens to be when it begins to play with Ed Regis after the main road attack. During this portion of the story, park worker Ed Regis tries to startle the Rex and scare it away. But the dinosaur just looks at the man in a very perplexed and confused manner. It pushes Regis to the ground several times while also waiting for him to get back up. Finally, the Rex decides to jump onto the man and tear a piece of flesh from his body, causing him to let out a high-pitched scream. Not too long after, she successfully killed him. But that isn't the only scene where the reader gets a look at the juvenile tyrannosaur. Later on in the novel, she tries to claim a kill that the adult dinosaur, Rexy, had made earlier. She does this while the adult was attacking Grant and the kids on the river raft. This causes the full-grown tyrannosaur to jet out of the water and after the eight-foot-tall animal in order to protect its kill. She also shows up right before the island is napalmed by the Costa Rican Air Force. This time, she's crouched over a freshly killed hadrosaur and roaring at the helicopter as it passes by. Not too long after that, though, she'd be killed along with every other dinosaur on the island during the subsequent bombing. Now, in the novel canon, she is most definitely dead. I don't really think there's any way for anyone to get around that. However, as far as the movies are concerned, we don't really know what happened to the Little Rex, or whether it was one of the animals in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Most of what we do know admittedly comes from Michael Crichton's first novel, and the entire history of this particular creature can be summed up in a few scenes that are really only several pages long. But none of this takes away from the awesome stuff that she does in the book. The death of Ed Regis being one of my personal favorite pieces of Jurassic history. Now, I want to thank artist Arturo Garcia for drawing up some images of the juvenile Rex for this video. Like I said before, she never made it into any of the movies, so getting some kind of visual representation of the animal really helped me make this video. Just like when he helped me on the Excavaraptor video, links to his Instagram will of course be provided down in the description below, and I highly recommend that you check him out and give him a follow. Now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions on the juvenile Rex happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that all of you guys enjoy what I do so much, and I'm extremely thankful to have all of your incredible support. Now I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. See you all in the next one, guys, and as always, take it easy.